This is our first time dumpster diving. And we just found an entire box of live fish. And they've lost like half of their water, more than half. They're all alive. PetSmart literally threw them away. PetSmart. Like nothing. Oh my God. They name dropped PetSmart. Oh, that one has a lot of water in it. So sad. Whoa. I am confusion. A medic, I explain. Is anyone else confused? Because why in the world would a company like PetSmart throw away one of their best selling assets they have on the shelves? Betta fish fly off the shelves every day. Every Thursday or Wednesday, whichever local PetSmart gets their shipments in for betta fish, it's a big restock time. I used to work there, so I know. Week after week, there is restocking pressure. That being said, they shouldn't be thrown out like that. There's no reason to. They are unsold and they costed pet PetSmart a lot of money to actually stock in their shelves. They're not making any returns on this and there's no possibility of making a return if they throw it out. So there's a lot of possibilities here. I think maybe one of them is that we got some lazy managers or lazy pet care workers. They don't want to do the store in the back and continuously replace the ones being sold. Maybe this was like a under the rug sort of thing where they're like, oh, they shipped us two extra shipments. Let's just throw it out. Give it the hush hush treatment. No one's gonna know. They're gonna know because this is just not a financially sound thing to do. You don't even need to go to business school for this. Don't throw away the products you're trying to sell. So definitely something fishy going awry here. And I'm not going to count out the possibility of these influencers up to no good. For example, like the dog rescue YouTube channels. Somehow it's always the same dog and somehow it's always that dog getting into some trouble, whether it's stuck underneath a truck or stuck in an oil tar pit somehow. It's always the same dog. Hmm. After a while, you'd think the audience knows that it's a setup, that these very good, seemingly good Samaritan people rescuing the dog is actually the reason why these dogs are in jeopardy. Always, it's a possibility that things are set up for social media. To me, those bettas look healthy. They don't look problematic. Hopefully there's an answer out there already. If you guys know what's up, let me know in the comments. If you don't know what's up, take your wild guess. Let me know what you think. We're going Sherlock Holmes on this fish. And without further ado, fish tank. You. This is Ahomitsu from the FFD Discord. They sent in a 7.5 gallon shrimp tank and it is a very unique shrimp tank. We got the use of the Lucky Bamboo. I'm not a huge fan, but this is one of the best use cases for this plant. They've made a bamboo forest inspired by probably like the Kyoto bamboo forest in real life. Even though I've never been there, I really wish I went on my last Japan trip, but there's always a next time. If you guys be into the Kyoto bamboo forest, is it overrated? Let me know. Just one piece of hardscape right in the smack dab center. This is Zen vibes. I see that zebra nere snail. What is that? Is that a crab or is that just the random plant root? I'm feeling like it's a crab. Damn, we didn't get intel on this creature in the description. Let me know what that is, bro. It's looking kind of freaky, scaring me. Speaking of shrimp breeding though, a lot of shrimp breeding in my tanks too. There's just babies everywhere right now. And I'm feeling some kind of way. I'm a dad. 10 gallon fish tank versus toddler with a plastic donut. Speaking of babies and dads, I wish this upon nobody, not even my worst enemy. And especially not to my future self if I ever have a kid. That is either one of the hardest baby toys ever known to be made or one of the hardest babies of all time. You need to sign them up when they're legal to join the softball team, little leagues, because that is an arm and a half. I don't know if you should be proud or scared or devastated. Probably all three at the same time. Your baby spider versed your fish tank. That is a super baby. That's from The Incredibles 2. Hey guys, quick pause. Speaking of incredible, I have to mention the sponsor of this video, you guys, for smashing the like button and subscribing and supporting this channel through Patreon. If you haven't already, please consider joining on Patreon. You get perks like joining the FFD Discord channel where we have like over... What the... What the like we have over almost 2000 fish keepers all over the world. I see people in India. I see people in, sorry, I got distracted by the word India because now I'm craving butter chicken, pani puri. I see people from Singapore and I even see people from USA. Wow, thank you for your support. This tank is sent in by Meat Glue. <laughs> That's a weird name, bro. <laughs> Anything you could ever want and you pick a name like Meat Glue. Okay, if this is your actual birth certificate name, I'm sorry, bro. Okay, still better 
than Ash Lake. This is a 10 gallon. Plants overtook their hardscape and they're in love with it. You know what? I'm in love with it too. I'm not in love with your name, but that could be changed because you have kind of convinced me that you're an awesome person because look at your scape. I don't judge the book by the cover. I don't judge a person by their appearance or their personalities. What? I judge them by their aquascape. That is the true judgment, the heart reflects the scape. A solid scape score of 4.43. Tantalize your crush by offering them a giant isopod perhaps. I would be intrigued, but I feel like 99% of uh, other people in this world, this might not be the first thing. Maybe an isopod plushie. You know what? I take it back. Do you even want someone who would not be excited to see this if you're offering it to them? That's right, I'm doubling down my position. This is Cam sending in their 26 gallon neon tetra black phantom panda quarries red crystal shrimp tank. That is a thick bush. <laughs> well, it's the first thing that I noticed. Who wouldn't think that's a thick bush? That's a crazy tank, bro. Big wall of Kambamba or Sicilia flora. Your crypts are going crazy. A little pop of Ludwigia, that red. Nice sand substrate. Developing some algae. Crystal clear water. Sheesh, bro. Is that a instant noodle? Wait, no, that's... <laughs> That's cat food. Escape score of 4.5 out of 5. Keep it up. Saw this Marvel in Philippine Facebook. Orange juice, anyone? Oh my, wow. It's gotta be the thickest, most viscous orange juice I've done ever seen. It, it actually looks like maybe some of that butter chicken. How is that even possible? What are they trying to demonstrate? That the filter is working? This reminds me of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is like a chocolate fountain. Actually a good idea if you're trying to make like a chocolate fountain, but you don't have a chocolate fountain. You can use your fish tank. The duality of man. What's the worst mistake you've made in this hobby? Trying to cheap out on equipment. Buy once, cry once. Pretty solid advice that I do not subscribe to, unfortunately. <laughs> Spending way too much. Now I'm homeless and living in the fish tank. Uh, yes. Two sides of one coin. May I present to you my childhood goldfish 20 to 21 years on. Man, that is so wholesome. Walking along with your 21-year-old goldfish that you were walking along with ever since you were a little kid. This is Pancake, a huge Dungeness crab that I got from the grocery store. That is one lucky crab, let me tell you that. Into a meal, I took him home Damn, and what, made him my pet. I started what are by the removing odds the of rubber that, bands man? that were constraining his That must feel so good. Then I put him into his new aquarium home that I had prepared. Pretty decently right sized away, tank as well. Pancake is already enjoying the new clean water this guy must have a little bit of experience keeping salt water because they've got the salt water down pat if that dungeon is is enjoying itself in that tank it is own reflection but of that's cute one of his wow it's eating good too it is eating shrimp without even having to hunt for it and then when he finally wakes up it hasn't eaten in so long it doesn't even know how to eat anymore it looks like until now enjoying the shrimp so much yeah because i bet they don't feed him anything at the store pancake is not a picky Ooh, those are some juicy earthworms imagine being able to eat earthworms, that is a luxury. Dungeness crabs do not get access to earthworms in the wild, man. Really makes me want to do something like this, although I don't have the real estate to do that. Tamago's tank is the biggest tank here, and it's only a 55 gallon, and it's got Tamago in it. Ladies and gentlemen, I just found the cutest thing you're gonna see all week long. Why do they kind of remind me of a snail? Like a ram's horn? when they're small. Their noggin is almost like a snail shell. I didn't realize that baby octopus look so cute. I thought they just look exactly like a adult octopus, but just smaller. I didn't know they were super translucent and clumsy like that. Octopi are such amazing creatures. I feel like they're the most alien-like creature we have on Earth. You know, aside from the water bear that probably is literally an alien. Why else? Explain to me why else it would be able to survive the vacuum of space if it had no business being in space in the first place. Huh? Yeah? Tinfoil hat moment from your boy. Didn't think I had it in me. Feeding piranhas at work? That's a sick job. Wow. Looks like fish pate maybe? I don't think they're fish flakes. I think they're a little fleshier and got more of a bite to it because piranhas aren't down to eat fish flakes. But man, this is a pretty misleading pond situation to have piranhas in. I hope they have some warning that there's piranhas in here. So nobody loses a finger at least. Michael Freed sent in this tank. Wow. It really matches your last name because this has a freeing feel to it. I don't know if it's the wide angle lens action shot you got. It's a great picture. Feels like I'm inside of the tank vibing with these fish. Perfect stocking. The repins are just perfectly placed. You're a pro. That carpet is thick AF. Expert placement of the hardscape as well. You know what? This is getting a 5 out of 5. Keep up the great work. Food 200. Data 150. Rent 800. Aquarium 3600. 
Utility 150. Someone who is good at the economy. Please help me budget this. My family is dying. Spend less on aquarium. No. <laughs> Straightforward AF. I like how even if you cut everything else down a hundred percent that it doesn't even come close to covering or breaking even with the aquarium expenditure. Bro. Yo, KG Tropical's going wild over there. Bro, really put himself out there. Crapping on the old Game of Thrones. Smack dab in the middle of your channel feed. Imagine scrolling and then you see a guy taking a crap. <laughs> Damn, son, that is brave. I wish I had a mustard seed worth of your bravery. If I was caught lacking with my pants down and I put that as my thumbnail. <laughs> Fish tank looks great though. And probably helping to purify the smell in the bathroom after this guy's done with it. It just finds a way to return every time. What others picture when they think of destruction versus my idea of destruction. Yeah, duckweed is like the Michael Bay of explosions in Transformers movies. I will never understand this meme. I put in duckweed on purpose in my tank. When I got tired of it, I spent no more than three hours over a couple days removing it all and it never came back. Damn dude, good for you, I guess, man. Leave some good luck for the rest of us. Weird flex, but okay. I do identify with this person. I've had that experience as well and the other experience where you just can't seem to get rid of it at all. Otosynclus catfish. Otosynclus all around the world are sneezing. They're like, somebody mentioned me, but I don't think it was accurate. I could understand if they mistaken the Siamese algae eater as a flying fox and put a flying fox picture there, but that is a Siamese algae eater being called an otosynclus. Both have very different care requirements. Incredible. Imagine if it's one otosynclus and it's priced at $30. That is a crime. Even a Siamese algae eater, unless it's like fully grown, maxed out at its biggest size, maybe 30, maybe I can see it $30 and like around your area, nobody else sells it that big. That's a supply and demand problem and you found a niche. Congratulations. But imagine just a regular one otosynclus costing 30 bucks. I wouldn't be in this hobby if that was a reality. Maybe it's the most rarest otosynclus to do peek out from behind a rock open and close mouth repeatedly <laughs> what i would give to just be a moray eel and exist it's so expensive to be a human and live well that's an interesting way to end this episode hope you guys got a good start to your week and yes it is monday again can you believe that it's time to answer this week's what is your favorite column of water swimmer of fish? Is it the top column, the surface swimmers, like the Daniels, the hatchet fish, the killie fish, or at least rocket killies? Or perhaps we're talking midsection, honey gorammies, bosmani rainbows, peacock rainbows. Maybe towards the bottom, we got crebenses, maybe true bottom dwellers like the Placostomus, Otosynclus, or just every single column like the life bearers. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come, and don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot. Coming in hot, ventral fin dot, acclimate that With my shoal at, cure my fin rot From Carisiformes to Parachirodon, hold on There's not another fish that you can wish for Live fam says, I finna one, I finna gone Three days without furt, I'm an addict Like fanatic, I'm a baddest No tabs, only dirt My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt We came to play, came to silence, gang